Hi, D4. So this was a very popular book in our class, so I thought I'd read it for you guys. It's called The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. I'm so hungry. On Monday, he ate through one apple. Can you touch the apple? Nice job. But he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. Maybe I'll count. Hi, D4. Miss you guys. So this was a very popular book in our class, so I thought I'd read it for you guys. It's called The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. I'm so hungry. On Monday, he ate through one apple. Can you touch the apple? Nice job. But he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. One, two. Can you touch the two pears? Good job. But he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. Let's count them. One, two, three. Can you touch the plums? Nice job. But he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Good job. But he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. Let's count the oranges. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Nice counting. Can you touch one of the oranges? Good job. But he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake. One ice cream cone. One pickle. One slice of Swiss cheese. One slice of salami. One lollipop. One piece of cherry pie. One sausage, one cupcake, that's a lot of food, and one slice of watermelon. That night, 
he had a stomach ache. You see his face? He looks very sick. He ate too, too much food. The very hungry caterpillar then ate through one green leaf. Can you touch the leaf? Nice job. He started to feel better. Now, the caterpillar was no longer small. He was a big, fat caterpillar. See, this is the caterpillar when he was little. And then he ate so much food and he became big. He's a big caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. Can you touch the cocoon? Nice job. This is the cocoon. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a small hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and what do you think is going to happen? Let's see. And out came a beautiful butterfly. You see the butterfly? Can you touch the butterfly? Nice touching butterfly. The butterfly has so many colors. I see some pink, some blue, some purple, some green, some yellow. So many colors. The end. Thanks for reading with me, D4. Bye.